Okay, good morning everyone. I'm here and I'm starting my uh, my sauce for my wonderful stuffed uh, shells today. I'm going to start by making my basic nice marinara sauce, my basic tomato sauce, um, and I have some nice Partana Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. I really like this brand. And I'm gonna, I went ahead and put it in the pot. And now I'm gonna saute my onions. I'm not gonna use this garlic, any garlic this time around, just because I want a sweeter sauce. Um, but that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna, once my onion sautés, I'm gonna add my muti tomatoes, which are just strained tomatoes. We can use any brand, um, but that's what I'm using today. As you can see, it's heating up, it's trying to get nice and yellow and caramelized. And as soon as it's ready, a little softer, I'm gonna make sure to add the tomatoes. And then that's gonna come to a boil. I'm gonna have it come to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna put it on the simmer and just simmer it for about half an hour. Once it's the consistency that I want it, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. this nice tomato puree in with my onions. This is what I'm using. I'm making two because for the stuffed shells, I'm gonna put some on the bottom of the dish, some on top, and then I'm gonna put my stuffed shells in my fridge um, until tomorrow because um, I'm not going to bake it today. Um, and I'm gonna need extra sauce for when they're done baking. Okay, so I gotta get on the meeting. Okay, so I put my uh, sauce in. I also added a little water to these jars to get all of the tomato out. And now it's going to come to a boil. You might be asking why am I using such a small pot? I'm kind of running out of pots. Probably have to go pot shopping. The important thing is to not let um, the onion on the bottom stick. And once it comes to a little boil, gets hot, I'm gonna put it on a simmer, and I'm gonna let it simmer for about half an hour. This sauce is not a meat sauce, does not need to cook for a long time, um, just needs to cook a little bit, okay? Okay, everyone, it's been about half an hour, 40 minutes. The sauce has been on a nice simmer. It's got a nice color, a nice consistency, and I'm gonna take it off the burner now. That's it. And then once I'm ready uh, for my shells, once I stuff my shells, cook up my shells, then I'll be using this sauce for the shells. Okay, so now I'm cooking up my shells. I got my shells in a pot of boiling water. I just added about a tablespoon of salt. Always remember the salt in the water for your pasta. And I'm gonna drain this in about 10 minutes, make them al dente, because they're gonna cook a little bit more tomorrow when I bake them. So what I'm doing now is I have my sauce, I'm layering my, my pan with some sauce, I have my shells cooling, I'm gonna put them out now, and I'm not gonna fill them until they completely cool, but I'm gonna put them in the tray so that they don't stick. So I have my shells, they're here, waiting to be filled, and now I'm gonna make my filling mixture. I have some ricotta cheese, I like palio, I have some grated Romano cheese, or you can use Parmigiano cheese. I have my shredded mozzarella. I have my two eggs. I have my salt. I have my pepper. The only thing I'm not putting in this is um, nutmeg. It's a nice flavor, but I'm making it simple so my kids eat it. And I'm also not adding any parsley. The parsley gives it a nice fresh taste, but I'm not adding it again um, for my kids. But you eyeball it, about four cups of ricotta cheese, about half a cup of the Romano cheese. I do half of a mozzarella stick, so about eight ounces of mozzarella cheese shredded, and then I'm gonna shred the rest. You know, I do it by hand. You can buy the shredded one. Um, but I'm gonna do the rest I'm gonna put on top 
Um, but that's basically my mixture. Okay guys, so this is what the mixture looks like. I added the eggs, the salt, the pepper, the mozzarella cheese, the Romano cheese, and now I'm just gonna stuff my shells. I got my shells, they're stuffed. They look good. Then I have my sauce right on top and my shredded cheese. And they're gonna be great tomorrow when I bake them again. Here we go, we have the sauce on them. Now I'm gonna add the cheese, a little grated cheese. Then I'm gonna put them in the fridge. And then when I'm ready tomorrow, um, bake them in a 350 degree oven. Uh, for about 45 minutes, half an hour to 45 minutes, nice and hot. I'll take the aluminum foil um, off towards the end, towards the last 10 minutes of baking so that the mozzarella cheese on top gets nice and, and, and really brown and really pretty. Um, but that's all there is to it. It's a little time consuming, but very easy recipe. Here we go. Two beautiful trays of stuffed shells, a pound of pasta, I use the lovely Ronzoni shells, ready to go in the oven tomorrow. I have my extra sauce reserved, so when they come out of the oven, I'm gonna pour some extra sauce right on top. Um, they're beautiful. They're ready to go, they're going to be delicious. Enjoy.